Today we're up to do a job at a farmhouse, which is gonna be a point to point job. We're doing this job for free. So it's just kind of gear that I got out of my basement that I had left over. Um, once we get to the job site, I'll explain what we're doing. But first let's say bye to the girls. All right, so this is the gear that we're gonna be using today and it all, is all just some gear that I found downstairs. It's gonna be a pretty simple setup. Um, what we have for the switch is a 2.5 gig switch with these 10 gigabit uh, SAPs. We're not gonna be using those SAPs. For the access point, we're gonna be using the U7 in wall on the table stand and then we have a firewall and the firewall is the Express 7. So that's gonna go into the house. I think the connection going to the house is a satellite connection and it's only about maybe like 20 down. So we don't need a lot of uh, bandwidth. For the point to point on the barn, what we're gonna be putting is this uh, light AP AC. And then on the house, we're gonna be putting a nano station AC loco. I've already configured these and we're gonna be using an IP range of 10.10.100. Um, and they were working perfectly fine at home. So what we need to do, we need to get these mounted and get these set up. And we also need to get it all cabled. We're by the chicken coop and this is where one side of the point-to-point uh, -point link's going up. Jay is going to mount this arm on the side and we should have a direct line of sight. There's really nothing that's going to be blocking us from the main house. Uh, so yeah, let's get that mounted. On the house, we just mounted the nano station to the existing mount, which has the satellite dish for the internet. On the shop, we added the light AP AC. In the middle of the shop, we added the U7 wall on the table stand, as well as the 2.5 gig switch. For Wi-Fi outside, we added the U7 outdoor. All right, and that's it for the physical installation. I'm just gonna show you one side of the point to point link. But we can see here that we have the nano station 5 ac loco and it's connecting over to the light ap ac we could also see our throughput capacity so we're about 342 megabits per second which is pretty good for this link by default both of these radios are configured at 192.168.1.20 so if you don't have that network what you're going to have to do plug your power injector into a power bar or something or a power outlet plug your computer into the LAN port and the POE into the radio. 
You'll have to set your network interface card to be in the 192.168.1.x range, and then you could go to it. Once you do that, then you could set up your network and I'll show you how I set up the network. Clicking over on the network tab, this is what we have set up. I did set it up with the static IP of 10.10.100.218 and then we have our primary and our secondary DNS. So now going to the wireless to set up the wireless bridge, all we need to do is click on wireless and one side needs to be turned into the access point side, which this one is not. After that, you need to give it an SSID and you have to give it a password. And you need to have that SSID set on both sides. So for the nano station, access point is turned off and then we have this SSID. On the other side for the AC, we have the same SSID, but access point is turned on. Now going to the equipment, you can see here that we have our Express at the top and then we have our USW Flex 2.5 gig PoE. We have the U7 Outdoor and the U7 Pro Wall. One thing that we need to do with the U7 Outdoor is click on it and then go over to settings. From settings, since we put the antennas on, what we need to do, we need to make sure that we're not using the built-in antenna, but we're using the Omni antenna, and then we're gonna apply those changes. Going to the dashboard, let's do a speed test just to see what we're getting from the Bell satellite. I think it was about 30 down or something like that. And we're getting 29 down by five up. For this install, that speed is perfectly fine. The reason for this point-to-point -point link is really just to give a TV Wi-Fi out in the shop so they could watch sports games. There is also another barn that doesn't have power, so that's why we put the outdoor access point. We're gonna be installing a solar camera out there, probably a real link or something like that, just to be able to watch the driveway. This install was a lot of fun. I really enjoy working at different farms and seeing different types of animals, even though the goose kind of scared me when it was running towards me and it started quacking. If you have any questions about this video, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.